French Foreign Legion, The Farm. Anybody that's done any research on the French Foreign Legion or is thinking about going to the French Foreign Legion knows about the farm. Or you better, because it's coming if you make it that far. What is the farm? Where does it fall in the French Foreign Legion selection pipeline? Well, after the pre-selection phase where you're at Paris, Fort Nogent, or down in Oban, you have those two pre-selection centers. Everybody will get funneled who gets pre-selected, right, after the IQ test and the, the physical test, the medical screenings and the initial psychological evaluations. After that piece, you're going to go to the selection center. You're going to go through the selection process. Now, all that time before you actually sign a Legion contract or offer a Legion contract to sign is approximately a month, right? You're in this like waiting kind of like purgatory phase for a month, just kind of getting dicked around, called around, interviewed, harassed, and whatever. But you're not really in the military yet. It's a unique institution in that you show up in civilian clothes and you're like hanging out in civilian clothes doing this pseudo military shit and then they start to kind of phase you in. Then you go into selection. Now you're actually in a uniform and that shit. Get your gear and then you go to Castel Notary, which is near the Spanish border. So you go from southern France near Marseille, which is like central southern France on the Mediterranean, and you transit by bus with your group of like 50 guys, we had about 50, to Castel Notary, where all instruction in the French Foreign Legion takes place. You class up, you get your, you get your, your instructors, and your this and your that, and you get your FAMAS, <laughs> well that's what we had. Now they have the HK416, but you're also, they're also still using that FAMAS, it's that kind of weird looking, 5.56 five, bullpup rifle. Not a bad rifle. People hate on it. It looks kind of weird, but it actually functions simple and it functions well. All right. So then they take you to the farm. What is the farm? Well, it's a fucking farm. <laughs> it's an actual farm. Now, very unique the French Foreign Legion is, is that you start in these rustic areas. You, you, you're like, you're not in this formal barracks. You're not. You're out at a fucking farm. Each company has a property owned by the Foreign Legion or by the French military, I guess you could say. That's a building, an old stone building. It's got some other structures on this property. It's got like a shooting range and an obstacle course. And every company, there's four four companies in Castel Notary. Each one has, they own their own property and it's all in the French Pyrenees, right? Which is kind of near the Spanish border. And when we went out there, it was fucking cold, man. Real cold. Man, I'm a Navy SEAL. I know what cold is. And I was cold there. It was like an inescapable cold too because, well, you couldn't escape it. You were sleeping on cots in these rooms and, you know, you don't have really the right clothing for it. You're in real minimal stuff and you're in a higher elevation and it's like that just all the time. You know, you're outside cold, you're inside cold and it was tough. Emotionally, psychologically, you're in a weird spot. You don't speak the fucking language. So you're <laughs> drinking out of a fire hose. Imagine going through a military boot camp in a foreign language. It is a unique experience that <laughs> I won't even say everyone should experience because it's just a unique experience. But you're trying to build these connections. Some people spoke English, right? Not a lot, but you build the connections with those people. You're all in that shared suffering, which always brings a group together. You're all getting hated on the same, getting told, getting played fuck, fuck games the same. You're marching, you're singing. And for me, it was tough because we're doing real basic military movements, weapons manipulation. I mean, the FAMAS was new to me, so a lot of the weapons manipulations and stuff was good. But, you know, then it's like, 
Like, here's how you shoot prone. Here's how you shoot by a knee. Here's how you shoot. And it was all dry fire, too. We were shooting some blanks, but it was fucking lame, man. I mean, I, I was like, fuck, what did I do? I was having some second thoughts there. But, you know, kept powering through, as you should. Running obstacle courses, right? We do these marches. And then they start doing these extended marches, preparing for the Kepi Block March, which we'll get into on a different video when we marched back, right? And then you get the famous white Kepi issued to you and whatever. But the farm was a unique experience. It's a month long and it's tough. You're doing long conditioning runs. Beautiful if you're a good runner. You're running through the South France through these small cool villages with cobblestone streets and shit and mountains. But for me, in the back getting yelled at, like I said, by some Russians, some guys yelling at me with a Russian accent in French about how I'm not running fast enough. You know, my head's down, so I wasn't getting to enjoy the view as much as some. But we powered through. We do these extended marches. You're starting to get used to the rocks and the gear again and all that. Faster paces. Now, now we're doing, you know, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 kilometer marches. Coming back, then we're doing these real basic patrols, basic shoot, move, and communicate in French drills. We're doing some land navigation. We're doing how to build hide sites, right? We're doing observation point stuff, security points, all that, how to do night operations, right? We're not working night vision yet. We're just kind of how to conduct, how to be on watch, how to stand guard. Very simple stuff. You're also doing extra work in the kitchens and it's unique because the the corporals out there like they don't have hired staff it's like a house right it's a, like i said it's a farm it's a working farm and the staff the corporals the guys who are your instructors are also doing the fucking cooking man they're cooking for you and we're a lot of the times during the food out there i mean you're getting bread and wa bread and coffee in the morning fast you get like they would give us 60 seconds to eat or whatever and then sometimes at dinner, if they thought we were eating or somebody was talking or some shit, man, they tell you, dump it all in the trash. Everybody stand up, dump all your food in the trash. Dudes are <laughs> eating out of the trash later in the night. <laughs> I was too, man. It was not below me to go digging back in the trash because I was fucking starving, man. I was starving there. I came back looking like Skeletor, bro. That was tough. Long ass runs, not a lot of food. <laughs> that nice calorie deficit, bro. That hungry mindset. But you're also, they also have some French courses. Basic, you're freezing your nuts off, getting yelled at, told to get up, and if, running back in and out, and if guys made a movement with the chair. So it wasn't an enjoyable class, sessions, but they're trying to give you some basic grammar, some basic speaking. How to really understand military commands was the first piece. In long hours, right? You're, 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 some nights you don't sleep. They would have us do those marches to security posts and then right into the next morning on another run and an obstacle course and things. It's a month long of really getting your fucking nuts kicked in. And guys leave, right? Guys will request to go civilian there when they get back. Some guys just didn't want to be there anymore after that. It was a, the farm was a unique experience. It's a tough experience. It's not undoable, right? Just like anything else, humans fucking do it. But we had a cool crew. We had a cool crew out there of guys from all over the world. So it was a very, it was the first experience we had ever really been together in this setting, right? We had all gone through the pre-selection, different areas then at the selection center, but everybody was kind of piecemealed. And then we got classed up and sent there to the French Foreign Legion Farm. And then after we finished that month, we did our Kepi Blanc March back which was 70 kilometers and some change in a few days in the rain and the wind and the cold, man, in December in the French Pyrenees back to Castel Notary where we did the rest of our three months of boot camp there at Castel Notary, which we'll get into the shooting and the training and what that actually looked like in a future video. Now, once again, appreciate everybody's support. Be smart out here.